Oh my God, can you believe it? We're halfway through the year. If you're in Australia, it's a new financial year. If you're in the US, we're halfway through the calendar year. Have you been away? I'm not sure, but like me right now, I've been looking on Facebook and I feel like getting my phone and just tossing it because people have been away enjoying their time in Europe, enjoying their time in Bali. And for some of the people, they've been enjoying their time in the snow. Tom, have you been away? Yeah, our cameraman Tom is saying yes. So it's time to get pumped up. We've got a whole new year ahead of us with the financial year. Have you done your business plan? Have you set your goals down? Are you in flow? Have you got momentum? Or are you in a bit of a SaaS slump? So here's the thing. The wonderful thing is every day you can start from zero and you can actually press the reset button and hit go. So it's time to like let and clean those ears and get the sand out, get the snow out of the ears, whatever it may be, and go. Here's a couple of tips that I wanna share with you today to get you into the groove so you can crush the next six months between now and Christmas. The first thing I want you to do is ask yourself this question. Where am I today? Like, where are you today? Look at your business and think, historically, where has your business come from in the last six months? I want you to go through every appraisal that you've done this year and every appointment and have a look. Was it an open home? Was it doing some callbacks? Was it an expired listing? Was it past clients or was it networking? Start to find the trends and patterns in your business and where you can focus to close the gap for the next six months. The other thing you need to think about is the first step to change, I really believe, is awareness. Are you going to be track and measuring right now between the next six months? How many calls are you making each day? How many appraisals are you booking? How many new contacts you're adding to your database? If it's letterbox drops, how many letterbox drops are you doing? And if you're into the new digital environment, which is like Facebook and social media, you better be there, because if not, you're living in the past, right? So you better make sure you're putting one post out every day. But if you're not tracking and measuring some of this stuff, guess what's gonna to happen to your business? It's gonna go, you're gonna get into a downward spiral. This is about taking action today and you need to track and measure. So that's number one. Number two that you need to do in this market, I believe, is level up. I've just got back and I'm talking to a lot of agents and they're like going, oh, Claudio, it's cold. I don't know about you, are you wearing a jumper today? But it's a bit cold here in Australia at the moment. And one of the things that these agents are telling me is there are a lot of agents discounting commission and marketing. Well, guess what? You need to level up your skills. And how do you do that? You need to role play. My first coach was, gentleman by the name of Bob Bolin. And he said, Claudio, if you don't know the answer to that objection six deep, you don't deserve the business. Was that a good American accent, Tom? Yeah, he's sort of shaking, he's not using the camera this time. But anyhow, here's the thing. You need to level up your skills. What does that mean? Role play, role play, role play. I've got a couple of videos coming out in the next few weeks. We're gonna talk about some scripts and dialogues and understanding NLP, embedded commands. I've spoken to you about this before. Now it's about you implementing it. And what do those language patterns gonna sound like? These scripts can help you move people into action. And that's what you gotta think about. So, the third thing I want you to do, if you're sort of like trying to dust off the wind of blues and get yourself into action and get fired up like I am right here today, I'm fired up, I'm like ready to hit the ground running. Here's the thing, get a vision board. That's one of the things that I love doing at the end of every year and the new financial year as well. I like to put some of the dreams and goals that I want to achieve. Let me tell you, the mind is an interesting place. If it doesn't know what it wants and you don't open yourself up to the universe, guess what? The universe ain't gonna pay you. Write down the holidays you wanna take maybe at the end of the year. Write down maybe the new car or dream house that you wanna buy and write down the business plan and goals that you wanna achieve in your business today. But have it on a vision board. You know what, our brains are 30% visual. And if we don't have clarity around that, there is no purpose. The more clarity you have, the more purpose you can take. Hey guys. Share this post if you know someone that needs to go out there and crush the next six months. Remember, if you're in momentum, be careful of getting complacent, resting on your laurels. And if you're in, not in such flow and you're a bit of a downward spiral, hit that reset button today and let's crush the next six months.